Hey there, I'm Dave Allen. Want to see something cool, good and geeky? Let's have a look. So here I am in Brave and I'm connected up to the Linode server here. Linode is for cloud computing and I've set up a Linode and in it I'm running Chasm. So I've basically got the IP address here and I'm going to go into Safari now. So let's go into Safari. I've set up Chasm on Safari here and I'm going to go for this here, admin at this here, put in the password, log in and it tells me what's happening with Chasm. Now with Chasm you're looking at the workspaces here and in workspaces I can set any of these things going. So I could have a Chrome browser running, I could have a Firefox browser running, or I could run GIMP and within Chasm I can set it up so that I could tell it to run Kali Linux for instance or I can go into GIMP or Discord or whatever else. And the beauty of this is that it's completely sandboxed so that it's anonymous. It's on somebody else's computer, so if a virus came in on that computer, it's nothing to do with me. It's, it's just a computer that was set up virtually on the cloud. Um, if um, maybe someone tried to hack you or something like that, it doesn't make any difference because it's on another computer out in the cloud and your own computer is completely perfectly safe. And on top of that, you're anonymous. So let's, for instance, go for Kali Linux. Click on that there, launch session. And away we go. So I can look into the file system if I want to. So I'll go into file system, do various bits and bobs with that if I want to. No problem. I can browse the network. Now this is running inside a browser. What about if I run another browser inside the browser? So let's click on Firefox here and get Firefox running inside Cali Linux inside Safari, which is running in the cloud. Cool or what? As you can see, Kali Linux is an operating system used by hackers to look for vulnerability analysis, exploitation tools, sniffing and spoofing, and all that sort of stuff. And it's useful if you're going to be doing that, but you can put all these uh, uh, tools that are in the Kali into another version of Linux if you want to. You don't have to use it inside Kali Linux, but it's all set up ready to go, so that's kind of handy. So I was having a few problems with this, trying to get the keyboard to put letters into this here. It was doing the G double O, but then wouldn't go any further than that. And I've no idea exactly what was causing it, but I think part of it was due to the uh, slow internet connection I have. I'll have to try this on a faster internet connection and see if it works better for me. OK, let's try this here. Uh, clipboard, goodandgeeky.com. So I'll put that into the clipboard. Let's, um See if that works. Okay, let's go into this here now and do paste. Okay, so that works. So I'll have to uh, do a copy out of my system and put it into this system, and now I can tell it to go. <coughs> How about that then? So I'm looking at Firefox, I'm looking at my good and geeky website in a browser inside Kali Linux, which is inside Safari, which is or in Chasm, which is on Linode Computing, on the uh, Linode servers. How about that then? Cool or what? All I've got to do is go to these wee three dots at the side here, and I can do a log out. Let's log out. Log out, sign out all devices. And I'm, uh, I'm only in one device anyway, but I'll click on that anyway. Click on log out. And now I'm back in Safari again. Cloudy Linux has closed, and I'm back at where I started. Kali Linux is still running there in the background, so maybe I'll need to close that somehow or other. Let's delete that. Delete the running session. OK, so let's try it again. And this time, instead of going to Kali Linux, let's go into... Let's go into Brave. We'll try this now. Launch session. Now I'm running Brave Browser inside Safari Browser, which is going through Chasm Workspaces, which is on Linode. Kind of confusing, a bit sort of um, that film where uh, they were sort of all going inside and everything else, Inception, that's the one. Um, I think it's more useful if you're doing something like going into another uh, operating system. So if I wanted to go into, for instance, this Ubuntu Bionic, let's click on that there and launch session. And within this here, I can go into Sublime Text, which is an application running on the Ubuntu Bionic within Chasm, which is inside the Linode thing. 
let's uh, double click on that there let's see what we've got it says there's an update available I'm not going to bother cancel that hello world So that was a bit disappointing because I didn't get the keyboard working and I thought it should work but it didn't but never mind. As a proof of concept it worked and I was able to get into Kali Linux on an in-cloud computer running on Linode. Uh, Linode seemed to be pretty good. I want to try it again to do something with uh, guacamole where I can use that to get into my devices over the internet so go to some other network or some out of off the local network and um, access my Raspberry Pis from outside would be quite good if I can do that. And a few other things that uh, Network Chuck has been showing on his channel. So thanks to Network Chuck for his uh, good advice there. That's how I got this going. And um, I'm good and geeky. I've had some fun. If you've had better results with this, well, let, know, let me know in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye now. Talk to you again soon.